टुडे वॉज ए ग्रेट डे फॉर मी एज आई मेट हलीना रूबेंस्ट इन डनलप हु इज़ अ लेजेंड इन द ऑप्टिकल ट्वीजर कम्युनिटी हलीना एक्चुअली पॉइनियर्ड वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट वेज टू रोटेट माइक्रोस्कोपिक ऑब्जेक्ट्स यूजिंग ऑप्टिकल ट्वीजर्स एंड हर वर्क हैज लेड टू सम रेवोल्यूशनरी आइडियाज लिटरली रेवोल्यूशनरी बिकॉज the particle which is interacting with light can rotate at various different speeds depending upon the angular momentum of the light which is trapping that particular object and this has led to various interesting applications and has uh, led to not only uh, understanding interaction of light with matter but also in manipulating matter under various different circumstances including biological and many of the technological aspects of light matter interaction halina is also highly cited for her work in fact uh, her two important papers uh, are uh, the direct observation of transfer of angular momentum to absorptive particles and uh, optical alignment and spinning of laser trap uh micro particles these two papers have really created uh, important opportunities to utilize optical tweezers in a variety of uh, situations and uh, so much so that the manipulation of biological entities within a cell has been achieved using the techniques what she has developed there is a nice wikipedia page of halina which describes her journey in science and uh, she was born in poland and then immigrated to uh, sweden where she did her education and uh, later on she moved to uh, australia in 1989 to uh, develop some very interesting things in in light matter interaction over the lunch i had a very nice conversation with uh, halina asking her about the history behind her breakthrough work and she mentioned that uh, she wanted to trap objects in the uh, singularity of an optical vortex where the intensity of the light goes to zero her motivation was to trap absorptive particles which are extremely difficult to trap because of the fact that they generally are repelled out of the the tweezer beam so the question remains uh, how to uh, trap such objects in a very efficient way and her work actually was motivated to trap such objects but what she told is that uh, when she uh, when she asked her student to go and trap such kind of particles uh they found that uh, the particles themselves not only get confined to the tweezer beam but also start rotating and uh, initially they were skeptic and uh, they went back to the to the experiment and she repeatedly uh, kind of looked at that particular data and finally realized that indeed the particle was not only trapped but also rotated in an optical tweezer in an essence this is probably one of the first uh, occasions where an optical tweezer was converted into an optical spanner and uh, as they say the rest is history she remains so enthusiastic and has uh, kind of inspired many of the people including me and uh, i thank her and her uh, research uh, work for really creating some enormous benefit to understanding light matter interaction